Hi and thanks for checking out my channel here on Reflex Camera Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you the Minolta Dimash F300. Uh, not really a reflex camera but a small digital camera from Minolta with some specialties you will see. We'll just take a quick tour around and then we'll go through the menus and the usage of this camera. We have the flash here, we have a sensor here, we have uh, the searcher here and here we have the lens which will come out when we put the energy or the power on. We have on the back we have the display with four different buttons. Here above have two buttons and a dial with four buttons and in the middle a fifth button. And of course on the upper side of the camera we have the display, the main display for the information, the camera information and a dial with seven positions. We will begin in the auto mode which will get the lens to open and retract. We have 396 photos here, space, this is a 512 megabyte SD card. So this is for the quality width. Uh, the quality is uh, on standard mode and we have the size of the file uh, in the biggest mode. This one, this button triggers this uh, flash mode. We are on auto. This small uh, symbol indicates that we have the noise uh, or not the noise, the eye reduction, red eye reduction mode is on. Then we can set the uh, flash to always on or always off. I would prefer to get it into the auto mode. The camera uh, will find out if the flash is needed or not in most of the cases. We have here the programs for special uh, situations which is in this case the uh, macro mode for photographing small things which are nearby. Then the portrait mode, which stands for itself to portray people, for example, or sports mode or landscape mode or uh, sundown mode or photographing against the light, which allows you to get different preset adjustments for this situation. Then you always can zoom in or zoom out with these buttons. The zoom is from 7.8 millimeters to 23.4 millimeters. That's three or four times the zoom and um, the lens is one to 2.8 to 4.7, which is, uh, yeah, of course, uh, not bad for this small camera. Um, so the lens will get quite a lot of light inside, not the small uh, from uh, today's uh, mobile phones, um, which are, of course, uh, not that bright, have not uh, that bright possibilities on the lens. We will go to um, the manual mode, which allows you to get some other adjustments. We'll have the playback mode. This is this one indicates that you can just playback your uh, photos or videos after on this uh, this side of the camera. You have the, uh, there is a connector for your uh, television special connector, and you have the uh, DC power in if you want to use it without. The batteries. The batteries are in here, so we'll take them out later. And on this side we have the SD card. As I already mentioned, we have 512 MB on this card, which allows about 400 photos. This one is the camera mode for video. And then we have the uh, sound recording mode, which is uh, a special mode just uh, for the voice, for example, or you want to record sound. And then you have the setup mode. And in the setup mode, you can just customize the 
different things the brightness of the LCD display you can format the SD card you can get the language the power save time the uh, uh, order of uh, photos the name for the photos uh, the volume for the different sounds the camera makes or records then you can reset the defaults you can uh, set the noise reduction on or off the set the time or the video input here of course i'm in pal mode but you can also uh, when you're from the states can use it on ntsc mode that's already about everything about the camera i already showed you here the um sd card compartment um, the camera is quite, from the design, from the standpoint of design, quite uh, nice, I think. This reflects on this side, this big dial on the other side. And uh, if you have something like that in your car or you use it uh, for your children or something like that, this camera is still really useful. I wouldn't throw it away, even though it's, uh, of course, um, not that uh, high resoluted as today's cam cameras are but the quality of the photos is still quite good so i hope you enjoyed this small little tour and maybe it helps you using the camera and uh, thanks for checking out my other videos uh, and watching this bye